This is how you can create buttons that never expire or never stop working in your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you'll get access to that source code, and over on YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you'll also get access to that source code. Of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go and get into the video. So to start, we're gonna need a button, because obviously we need a button to make a never expiring button. So we can just go over to other, and we can go ahead and create button.js, and we can just go ahead and create our command, so we can make our slash command builder. And because we're getting a button, we can also get our action row builder, we can get our button builder, and we can get our button style. Then we can do equals require, and we're gonna go ahead and get discord.js, and we can do module.x ports and we can open this up we're going to get our data which is going to be our new slash command builder and we can go ahead and set a name this is going to be a button test and then we can go ahead and set a description and we can go ahead and say make a button never expire and then we can go ahead and add a comma. We're going to go ahead and finish this command by doing async execute interaction. And we can go ahead and open this up. So we can go ahead and just make our button. So we can do const button equals new action rope builder. And we can add components. And we can do new button builder. And we can go ahead and set a custom ID. This is going to be expire button or something like that. And we can go ahead and set a label. And we can say button testing. And we can go ahead and set a style, and this is going to be button style dot primary. So now we have our button here, so we can actually go ahead and send it in a message. So we can go ahead and do const msg equals await interaction dot reply, and we can say contents, and we can go ahead and say button testing, and we can go ahead and say components, and we can go ahead and get our button component, and we're also going to go ahead and set informal to true as well. Then what we can go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and start by making a collector so I can show you that when you turn the bot off, it will actually not work once you turn it back on. So you can do const collector equals msg.create message component collector, just like that. And then we can do collector.on, we can do collect, and we can do async i. We can go ahead and open this up here, and we can say if i.custom id is equal to our expire button, then we can go ahead and open this up, and we can just go ahead and return await interaction to apply, and we can go ahead and say contents, and we can say button working, and we're also gonna go ahead and say informal to true. Just like that, so now we have our collector that is going to collect and register that button. So we can actually go ahead and test this out. Now, keep in mind, this method is the method that most people use for their buttons. And if you go ahead and turn on and off the bot and you try to use that button, it will no longer work. So that's what I mean by a button that expires. For example, over in the rules channel here, or the information channel within my server, if I were to click on this view rules button, I need this to work no matter what, so I don't have to continue to send this message over and over again. So let's say the mod mail bot went offline because my host went off or whatever, and I turned it back on, this button still needs to work no matter what. So if I use the method I just did here, the collector, and I turned it on and off, it would no longer work. So I'm going to show you a different method as soon as I demonstrate this. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test off this expiring method. So we can go ahead and get button testing. And we can go ahead and send it here. And it's going to go ahead and say button testing. So we can just go ahead and click on this button here. And as you can see, it's going to go ahead and reply saying button working. And it's going to continue to reply no matter how many times we click it. But let's say we go ahead and actually close out of the terminal. So now the bot is off. So if I were to run the test command, it will not work. And it's going to go ahead and say the interaction did not respond. So now we can actually go ahead and turn it back on. So now that the bot is back online, if we go ahead and try to run this command one more time, so we go ahead and click retry, it's going to go ahead and say the bot is working. So now the bot is online again after we just turned it off. So we can go ahead and click on this button here. And as you can see, like I said before, it's not actually going to go ahead and reply because the bot was turned on and off. So this is what I mean by a button that expires. It's going to work and then the collector will turn off as soon as the bot turns off and it will no longer work again. So now we can go ahead and actually make a button that never expires. So all we have to do is go ahead and remove this collector and we don't even need this variable here. We can just go ahead and reply because we're only going to be using the button's message ID or the button's custom ID. So we can go over into our index.js here and we can go ahead and do button. So we know what we're talking about, a little comment. And we can do client.on, we can do events.interaction creates, and we can do async interaction, and we can go ahead and open this up here. So within this, it's very, very simple. 
All we have to do is make a check to get the custom ID. So we can say if, and we can say interaction.customID is not equal to expire button because that is the custom ID we use when creating our button. Then all we actually have to do is return. So it's gonna go ahead and return for all commands, all other buttons, all models, everything except for this very specific button with that custom ID. So after doing that, we can go ahead and just write whatever we want to do. So we could just go ahead and do await interaction to apply and we can say content and we can say button working. So the exact same thing we had before and we can set formal to true. So this code is gonna be the exact same code that we had before in the way it works, but it's gonna be a little bit different in the way it handles. See, before we had a collector, so it collected all interactions for a certain period of time. This is just an interaction create event. So whenever the bot is online and running, it's gonna be checking for interactions. And because buttons technically never expire, they're always gonna be valid interactions when ran or when clicked. It's gonna go ahead and pick the interaction up as the custom ID, and it's gonna go ahead and reply even if the bot has been turned on and off. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that now. So we can go ahead and turn on our bot here. All right, so I think the best way to demonstrate this is to just use the exact same message we had before. I'm not gonna send anything new. As you can see, it still says the interaction failed from what we had before before. So we can just go ahead and click on the button here and as you can see it's going to go ahead and say the button is working. So that was the exact same button we had before, the exact same message. As you can see the timestamp is different. Uh, so it's the exact same button and it is working now. Even though the bot has been restarted, the code has been changed, all of that. So we can even go ahead and try this again. So we can go ahead and send a new message here. And by the way, if I click on this button, it's going to work. And so will this button, even though they have the same custom ID. So now we can actually go in and turn off the bot. And in here, we can go ahead and run our test command. And as you can see, it's not going to work. We can go ahead and click on this button and on this button. And because the bot's off, it's not going to work. So now back over in the server, we can go ahead and test this out. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make sure this sends. So we can go ahead and turn it on. And it is on. So we can go ahead and click on the first button from before. So this is the very, very first button we sent. And as you can see, it's gonna work. Even though the bot has been turned on and off, it still is going to work. And same if we clicked on this button. So these buttons will never expire. And in 20 days from now, 30 days from now, a year from now, if my bot is up and running, these buttons will still work. So it's very, very simple to do this. And it's really, really important that you do this for buttons that are meant to be long lasting buttons like reaction roles, rules, messages, maybe even mod mail ending transcripts or mod mail ending close buttons, anything like that this is the best way to do it. You could use a collector, which is the first thing I showed in the video. If it's only for a short thing, for example, maybe a purge command where you click a button to purge something within the channel, that would be an example where you could use a collector. But because you need this button to last forever, that is how you would do it. You would use an interaction event and you would just check the custom ID because there's no collector necessary for that. If you do need any help coding this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.